Hello Tigers, Just Yearn here, Yearn to succeed and follow your dreams. You are now tuning to another episode of WSPR, Short Stories and Poems Radio. Once again, I'm your host, Mr. Yearn, or Just Yearn for some, Yearn to succeed and follow your dreams. Now before I start, I want to do the usual, thank everybody for liking, commenting, and sharing. To those who are new, to the new Tigers, welcome. Congratulations. You know, they say that everything in your life is done on purpose. And you coming across this platform, this channel, is not, is not by mistake, not for granted. It is on purpose. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Now... To those of you who had the liberty and pleasure of listening to episode 50, I just want to say thank you. Gladly appreciate it. Yes, episode 50, you heard it. For those of you who are just tuning in and feel uh, feel the need to check out episode 50, go ahead. I highly suggest it. I talked about the creative rut. And it's so funny that as I was talking about the creative rut, you know, and still feeling like I'm in a creative rut, that I noticed that from episode one to episode 50, it was almost like my struggle in the creative rut, you know. I think that even looking back further than that, that from the first YouTube that I started, you know, it's, it seems like it's an uphill climb and it seems like I've been dealing with this creative rut of just trying to build into, just trying to build, rather, you know, build a platform that I'm happy with, that I know that people are inspired, encouraged, enlightened by. And that's another thing that I'll be able to sleep happy with, knowing that I've inspired um several people you know so yeah i just wanted to state that before i actually started episode 51 okay so on this episode tigers we're going to be talking about credit now the first thing that pops into my mind or may have popped into your mind is credit we think about economic credit, which relates to your credit score. And you hear it from everybody. You hear it from your parents. You hear it from your significant other. You hear it from your guardian, public figures, people on social media. Speaking about credit and they emphasize the importance of having a strong credit score. And it's important to build a strong foundation. Now... Although that is an important topic to cover, tend to share with you, Tigers, that's not the credit that I'm talking about. So, my friend and I, we have this podcast. It's called They Fired Us. And it was inspired by our last job. And also inspired to push people to keep following their dreams. And we want to want to represent and dedicate at the same time each episode to everyday people, the working class, the middle class. And we had an episode that just passed called Flowers where we dedicated our love, you know, for various artists. Um, public figures and people who were affected by police brutality on that episode. We wanted to dedicate that episode towards those people. And we have a part two coming out Saturday. So if anybody is interested, just follow us on YouTube. Uh, The name is They Fired Us. You can also follow us on IG and you can see more. But um, I took a little bit from that. So, to, on this episode, I have to credit the original source. And it's kind of funny because my friend and I had this debate today via FaceTime about which borough is better. 
Is it Brooklyn? Is it Bronx? And the underlying issue based on our debate rather is giving credit to the original source. So I wanted to take inspiration from that and use it on this episode because I do not feel like original artists get the credit that is due. You know, I think that we have this, I don't even know what to call it. You know, I I, I don't know the name for it, Tiger. So Tigers, if you happen to know the name for this, please inform me, please enlighten me, please spread the knowledge. You know, why is it that somebody has to die for them to receive the credit that they deserve? You know, why is it that a public figure, an artist, et cetera, et cetera, can have a certain amount of followers on social media? And then when him or her passes away, then the number just skyrockets. It almost it almost triples in that manner. And it's just like, how come that person didn't receive the credit? Well, they could actually see it. That they could actually know that this many people supported what they were doing or actually believed, you know, in their craft and what they were doing you know they know that a certain amount of people you know are avid fans and ever likers of their work however it just seems like when somebody dies it's like their numbers skyrockets you know and they end up then is it's in that moment it's in that point where they receive you know the credit that they deserve so I wanted to just touch on that and talk for a few minutes about that. It's just like, have we gotten so lost with reality? Have we gotten so lost with the way technology and the internet is running at a rapid speed? Are we, has social media caused us to be more selfish? You know, because time is our only luxury or selfless. So we don't think about others. We think about ourselves only. Like what? And I pause for a second because it's just like, what is going on? In the words of Marvin Gaye, what is going on? You know, you, you could tell Tigers just from listening to my voice that I can't even utter the words necessary to deliver this message because I'm I'm baffled at this concept that we do not give credit where it's due. You see it now with a lot of original creators. You see them fighting for what they deserve. You know, you see it with uh, Nick Cannon you see it with Kanye West. You see it with Joe Buttons. These people are fighting for what they deserve. And I'm not saying it as if other creators and other artists are not fighting for what they deserve. Because they definitely are fighting the forefront. But these are three main people that just came off the top of my head just now as I am trying to make the analogy for you tigers you know these people are fighting for something different and i don't think we totally understand you know what is happening here you know it's 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 and i'm at a loss for words still you know it's 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 sad it's disheartening that our fight has to be this hard. You know, it's it's sad that we constantly have to knock on a door for our voice to get heard. And who worse we? 
you know, we are the minority, we are people of color, we are artists, creatives, middle class, the people who make up the the middle class. We are fighting to get our voices heard. You know, you you've seen this a lot when the Black Lives Matter movement happened that a lot of people were fighting for their voice you know there were a lot of oh okay if companies are so saying they support you know black lives matter whether it was sincere or for propaganda that a lot of people employees were protesting excuse me they were stating that you do not support Black Lives Matter. You do not support our movement, you know, and it's strange. And a side note for a minute, because the original owners of Black Lives Matter or the people who act like the forefront of Black Lives Matter don't necessarily care about Black Lives Matter. But that's for another subject for another episode, Tigers. I won't I won't. I, I won't drag you down that rabbit hole of conspiracy theories at this at this point. However, let's go back to credit. All right. So these employees, these creatives who worked for these prestigious and well-known brands never got the credit that they deserved. Never got the credit for their originality, not got the credit for their work. And half the time, their work has been stolen or plagiarized. All right. You see this a lot with uh, Diet, Diet Prada, excuse me, where we are well known. Uh, we are well aware, excuse me, of this known social media platform, Diet Prada. They talk a lot of fashion sense and they too can attest how a lot of brands will just steal your idea and run with it and my question just goes back to credit these might come off rhetorical i know i do not have the answers i wonder if you tigers have the answers and i would love for this to be an open discussion you know, is why can't the original artist reap the benefits that they sold? Why can't the original artist get the credit that they deserve? You know, and I'm pretty sure that people who are higher up the chain in uh, artistry can elaborate more, you know, to me about this, about this. But there has to be a stop. You know, we have to demand that we get the credit that we deserve and when we demand it not be shunned by our peers or our our people for it you know if if we're fighting this cause not just for ourselves but we truly want our community to be better and to build then we need we need the support and we need to be and we need to be, we need to show empathy for those in the forefront fighting the battle for generations to come. You know, it's imperative. It's vital. You know, there's no time. They always say there's no time like the present, but there's no time like now where we have so many warning signs we have so many waking up signs you know that we have to start now we need to not only hold our brothers and sisters accountable we not only have to give each other the right credit that we deserve however we also need to fight for the credit that we deserve and that's why i mentioned nick cannon i mentioned kanye west i mentioned Joe Buttons because these people are fighting for credit. You know, with Joe's Buttons situation from his podcast and him trying to 
build something, you know, not only for himself, but for his kids and for, um, for his community, you know, the black community, you know, that Spotify didn't want to give him the credit that he deserved. You know, because these big companies have a almost like a take it or leave it attitude, you know, and they always say, oh, well, we don't need you. You need us, you know, almost, almost, almost big fish, big fish, little fish scenario. So I'm happy for Joe Buttons to continue to fight, you know, um, and build his own platform. You know, Joe Buttons, if you ever, ever, ever listen to this, you know, congratulations. Keep your head down. Keep swimming. I'm praying for you. And really be careful. Remember, this is a game of chess. Be careful how you move the pawns. And protect the king. Kanye is fighting this uphill battle, you know, and a a lot of people have their opinions on Kanye, but deep down inside, I believe that Kanye is really trying to make the world a better place, whether we like to believe it or not. You know, people think he's selfish. People think he's an asshole. People, some people might think he's a bigot. You know, other people might see him with, you know, the mental health issues and it just prompts toxic. It prompts questions. It prompts dangerous. It prompts not reliable for certain people of color. It it, it prompts marketing schemes. It prompts propaganda again. But, you know, for from my from my personal opinion i think i believe deep down inside that he's really trying to make the world a better place and who else has put their self on the line you know to to move the culture forward in a nutshell and to prove that if he can do it then another black kid, another black girl, another black guy, or another person of color can do it as well. You know, I am praying for you, Kanye West. Keep your head held high. Remember God first and keep praying. You know, I mentioned those two because it came to my mind as well as, you know, Nick Cannon, you know, and they're and they're fighting for the credit that they deserve. You know, um, you know, Joe Bunch with Spotify, you know, Kanye West with um, Adidas. Uh, Nick Cannon with, you know, uh, Wild and Out and F- Firecom. We all remember that was a huge mess, you know. But let's take it down for a little bit before I close this because I definitely don't want these videos to be extremely long due to the attention span, Tigers. You know, it's like, for instance, like a model. Right. Works with an artist. So B2B, business to business. Right. And they do a collaboration. And then the model posts the photos. But the model forgets to credit the photographer. This happens a lot. This happens a lot, you know. Or. A friend would see another person post something, you know, and take that same idea 
and use it for their project. You know, you see, you see this subconsciously on social media. You see where people will post quotes and not credit the original source. You know, people will screenshot pictures, videos, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and share it. And the original source doesn't even know that their work is being posted. And I even posted this a few times on my Insta stories. It's just like, all right, I have, I do merch for those of you who are new and don't know that much about me. I have uh, this short stories and poems on my, on my YouTube channel. I also have, uh, they fired us now with appreciation and with a lot of gratitude. And I'm thankful for a lot of, you know, the listeners, supporters, would share my work and I'm gladly appreciative of it but sometimes they won't tag me in a post and it's by chance or by luck that I will view it and I'm just in my head I'm just like what is wrong with just what is wrong with crediting people you know what is wrong with tagging people so they can actually see their work you know but when the person passes, passes away, then they want to start tagging. Then they want to start talking. Oh, this person was a good person. This person was this. This person was that. And it doesn't work like that. You know, it definitely doesn't work like that. You know, if artists or people are going to build and support each other, then just tag them in there. It's, it's, it's priceless. It costs nothing. And they can actually receive you know their flowers you know so to speak in a nutshell you know uh i had some other questions and thoughts that were kind of rhetorical that i wanted to mention about credit but i might save that for another episode if i choose to do a credit part two later on down the road but i'm gonna leave it here and i just want you to think about some of the words that i said you know about just credit and how important is credit to you moving forward you know i want this i want this to be an open dialect i want this to be an open conversation i want to share my thoughts with all of you tigers i don't know how many minutes i'm in but i'm pretty sure this is a lengthy one just sharing here i want to thank all of you for listening to episode 51 as i climb to hit 100 thank you for joining me don't forget to like comment and share if you enjoyed this videos let me know you know i just want to say this before i get off you know and this kind of goes back to my creative rut and kind of aligns with giving credit all right so you have friends you know myself included and you know that they have a business right we all want our friends to be successful well i would hope so and giving them credit would be liking their stuff would be commenting on their stuff would be sharing their stuff would be showing support to that person You know, as I mentioned before, I know that we're busy and have time to, and we don't have time to, excuse me. However, I feel like it's imperative that we need to support our friends more and try a little harder to give credit. So, I want to close with that. Thank you, Tigers, for listening once again. You have now listened to another episode of Short Stories and Poems on WSPR Radio. Thank you so much. Just yearn here. Yearn to succeed and follow your dreams. And until episode 52, be blessed. Namaste.